second coat on and it's it's kicked it's not a Hey guys, welcome to uh, Sailing Foxy Lady. This is my full restoration of a 1973 30 foot Uh, please like and subscribe if you would like to follow our progress. Thank you. Well, guys, um, Saturday morning, I just got down to the boat. It was a busy day yesterday when I got back. And um, I've just been fixing the friend's boat, getting a fuel tank out, heat exchanger, had some, some issues going against the tide the other day. So I've been here for a few hours, it's now half seven. Um, anyway, so I'm here now. And what I want to do is, before it gets too warm, pop these windows out, flat down any runs. There is one or two runs that are going to be quite visible if I don't get rid of them. So I'm going to flat them out. Um, give the area a bit of a scuff because it's epoxy primer. And I think epoxy is good for about a week um, before you overpaint it. But I think I'd still want to, want to scuff up, get rid of any, any little high spots, anything really bad. Um, what I've managed to get hold of, is when you get to go on, I'll change the music down before I get told to copyright stuff. Um, so when I, when you're looking at marine stuff in chandlers and stuff, um, you know, it costs a bloody fortune. So because I had time at work this week, I sat there, I brought up the, the sort of contents, the ingredients of, I'm not going to name brands, but some of the good expensive paints and then I brought up the name the contents of sort of when it comes from the supplier so this has got exactly the same contents and qualities and everything about it that the top brands have got so I got it from his black country paints in uh, Wolverhampton so there's three liters here um, all up when that's all mixed you got three litres of polyester, two pack, brilliant white. Um, we'll see how it goes on in a little while. But that cost me, I'm trying to think, 65, 65, 70 um, pound. As opposed to, you know, normally you'd pay, you pay that for a, lit, a litre's worth of paint, normally in single pack. So I'm hoping, do a bit of prep now, and I'll get a coat on, um, then I'll disappear, I'll go and wake up Sam and the kids and stuff. And see how it coats and come doing a second coat um, later on today. It's a beautiful day today, not so great tomorrow. So the plan today is paint, windows will get taped back in, and then probably next weekend look at painting outside um, and gluing the windows in, which will be a bloody great day. Um, but yeah, that's it for now. I'll stop waffling, I'll get on with it. Once I've mixed up and stuff, it's, it's a two to one mix. When I've got it all mixed up and I'll get going, I'll, I'll get some footage. We'll see how, she, how she's going on. Cheers, guys. Hey, guys. Um, it's now midday. It was a bit of a disaster this morning. Um, as I was sanding down, I found a couple of bits of fillet in that I just completely forgotten about when I was doing it. Don't know how I hadn't noticed it. Um, but I decided to get some epoxy just up there. And there's a tiny little bit on the corner down there. Um, so I've got that in there this morning. I know it's only been sort of six hours or so. Hopefully that's enough that I can now sand it and get some uh, 2K polyurethane on. Um, another job this morning, I'm gonna put a clip up in a minute. Um, obviously I pulled the, the fuel tank and heat exchange off my friend's boat. Uh, I've seen bug before, but wow. This is, the stuff in there was horrendous. So I'll try and bring that across to my phone because I caught it for a friend I'm doing it for. Just so you can see the effect of sort of leaving old fuel in a boat. Um, but yeah, I'll stop waffling. So I'm gonna quickly flat down that epoxy, hopefully. It's not gonna, not gonna be all soft still. Um, mix up the two pack and I'll try and get some footage as I'm going. Cheers. Right, I'll, stop, I'll stop sending this sickening videos in a minute, but 
So this is the last lot I've got out. I've got two buckets worth. So that's that. And this one's a little bit more watered down. But there's still some big old chunks in there. That was the what, you could, what we could feel on the dipstick. It's hitting this stuff at the bottom. So every time you healed over, went over a bump, whatever. This was getting this was going through your fuel lines. Um, I've done a few diesel rinses now. What I'm going to try now is a bit of petrol, a bit of thinners, and see what I can to get in there, get in there nice and clean. Morning, mate. This shit here was sat just on the surface of the filter. Bloody great big chunks that have come out of the tank, so the actual filter itself be in absolute shit state. Um, so there would be your issue when you was coming back. You should have full confidence now. Just finished first coat, looking pretty good. Um, and I'm not gonna lie, I forgot how. Also, obviously, many many moons ago, I've done a bit of car spraying. Um, that spray my highlights. I'm not, I know how thin two pack paints are. Um, because I've been used to doing the epoxy and all this stuff on here, I forgot how thin it was but also perfect for being thin it flashes really quick so where i started this side this is good to go now for the second coat um application with a brush um i would say it's easy being messy you get it everywhere splashing everywhere because it's in here in here now it really doesn't matter um but because it's thin and you put it on, it sort of immediately wants to run. Um, but as long as you wipe it over once, then it's, by the time it's had a chance to run again, it'll flash off. So, yeah. I think I've got away with it, I don't think I've got any runs. Because I can show you, as soon as you see the run, by the time you've wiped over it, it's flashed off. Um, so I'm going to do another coat now. When that's gone off, I'll do a quick, quick show round. Um, that's pretty much it, really. And then tomorrow, if it's nice, or maybe later today, if the speed just goes off at, I'll, I'll do the, uh, the frontage outside. But it is really nice. And Sam, we've got family down, we've gone down the beach and stuff. So I'm not going to see them. But we'll see, we shall see. Hey guys, that's, uh, that's the second coat on and flashed off. It looks pretty good. So. I've still got, as you know, I hate waste. But I'll put it in this bag, I'm hoping it'll stop it kicking. Uh, about 200 mil. I mixed up 450, so it's pretty much 50% waste, which I'm not happy about. Um, I'm thinking about now, once this is flashed and sort of, there's no tackiness whatsoever, sand in the front and start applying that um i was going to epoxy prime and then that but there's no real reason at the front to epoxy prime that, that frontage um so a, a good key i might just go straight for that i'm gonna go outside and look in a minute see what how much, how much um work it would be you know how the state of the, the surface and from what i can remember it's pretty good um it's just basically getting all the the residue of the tape off is going to be the, the job. 
and then just good flat down, which I've dumped, done mainly anyway. Um, this is side. So, I am really, really happy with that. Really happy. So I'll let that kick, I'll have a little look outside, and then I'll make the call whether to um, keep it in that bag where it's airtight. Whether that stops two pack, don't know. Probably not, but if it goes off, it goes off. But if I can save it, happy days. Um, and I'll have a little play out the front there. If I get it on, I think I'll get it on. But I'll, uh, I'll let you know when I when I decide once I've been out. Cheers. Hey guys, so that's the uh, second coat on. And it's, it's kicked. It's not 100% hard yet, but it's... I think it's safe now that I can go out and start sanding outside. So I'm gonna sand, paint. So I've still got this here, still fluid. So that should be good to go. And I shouldn't, be, shouldn't really affect this paint now. Obviously dust coming in, me doing stuff outside. So I'm gonna get out of there, get attacking. And um, when I get going, I'll, I'll get the, I'll get the, the uh, camera down. Cheers. Hey guys, so um, I've got two layers of 2K on the outside today. Uh, I didn't get any footage. They've just been mental. I've been pulling engines out of boats and fixing other boats. and Yeah, it's been non-stop. Um, but interior now, I am content with exterior. Uh, the finish isn't, you know, a million percent. But for now, it's plenty good enough. It's a good key. It's nice and hard. Um, and obviously come tomorrow, it'll be in a good position that I can then stick primer onto it, prime the windows and do the whole gluing thing. Um, if the forecast is as it says and it's all okay and I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do a full capture of how I'll go about it, just to help anyone who might be considering doing it in the future. But that's it for now. Um, cheers guys, see you later on. That's just taped into position now. So it's got the masking tape around it. In a minute I'll get the thinner one and just create these shapes. Just wiped them with activator. So you can see they're nice and keyed up. It's all the way around. 